getting to experience a place with history in a specific spot that goes back for so long feels really special. And to get to see this farm that has just been passed down from generation to generation. There's a really special feeling of community. This place has really influenced it in a way that you get to be close with it and kind of understand people and observe people in a way that you might otherwise not be able to. Or you create an image of what you believe this to be like, whether or not that's true. The very meaningful conversations for me were the ones without words. And it happened when I was interacting with the people that work here making cheese, milking cows, picking tomatoes. We didn't talk much, you know, it was like I was learning and mimicking the gestures and that, just that time together. My main objective was to be an observer first of life here and experience as much as I can. Soak it up, you know, like a sponge. <laughs> Luca's talk at the beginning where he was like, if we try something and it doesn't work, that's okay. And we'll try something new. And that energy was instilled from the very beginning. Everybody kept saying like, you can do anything. Whatever you want to do, we'll figure it out and we'll help you. I was very skeptical and first time I realized maybe they're actually serious. When I went into the church <laughs> and there's literally a climbing wall in the center of the church and it's a kid's area now. You can tell the space is being used how it needs to be. With the other people who participated in this residency program, it was very inspiring like to see how all of us find a different materials or different space that speak to each of us make me think more freely about what kind of material that I can use. This was like the best cooking school I could have ever attended and it was like I snuck in every lesson. I was like, what are you doing? How are you doing this? You know? I think just like seeing how things can really move and exist in a space that's so successful, but not successful because of how intensely you work, but successful because of how everybody works together, is really, really inspiring. It's really proven to me that community can be spontaneous and that it's actually pretty easy to connect with people. We've all kind of had our hands busy the whole time, whether it's making our own art or making meals or setting tables, you know, working toward a common goal. I think that's been really nice too. The energy here is palpable. It's special. It feels rich. I mean, and magical, honestly. And that's something I just kind of want to know what it feels like as like an end goal to strive for back home. I had some of the best conversations of my life, the, like the past week. Being in this space, it makes you want to be vulnerable with each other and honest. And somehow I feel like I got to know a lot of the people here better than people I've known since like fifth grade. Being here has definitely reignited my passion for, you know, growing my own food and someday having my own homestead, a smaller scale version of what this place is. multidisciplinary art residency in Italy on a biodynamic farm was like everything I'd ever <laughs> wanted <laughs> to go to. This place to me what really inspired me was the fact that it is like this chamber of memories of so many generations of people and artists that have come by here you walk around and you see relics of people and what they've contributed to the farm.
it's enjoyable. There's a lot of joy here. Uh, from the morning until the evening. And that's a very special thing <laughs> to have for 10 days. <laughs>